Welcome to Sodanonymous. I'm your host, Sodanonymous. Today's episode is going to be on Pepsi Vanilla. First things first, we got the fun facts. Let's go over that real quick. Pepsi Vanilla came about in 2003 as Pepsi's answer to Vanilla Coke, which released in 2002. Pepsi Vanilla was replaced by Pepsi Cherry Vanilla in 2010 as a sort of middle ground between Pepsi Vanilla and Pepsi Wild Cherry. This mirrors Coca-Cola's move to Coca-Cola Black Cherry Vanilla from 2006 to 2007. Pepsi Cherry Vanilla was discontinued later that year. In 2014, Pepsi Vanilla released as part of the Pepsi with Real Sugar line as Pepsi Vanilla Real Sugar uh, in limited quantities. This formulation released again in late 2018 uh, as another limited batch. In 2019, the original formulation of Pepsi Vanilla released for the first time in a decade. This is what we have here today. All right, well with that out of the way, let's get on with the review. Um, I would like to say that this is going to be a blind tasting. Um, I've never had uh, Pepsi Vanilla before, and uh, the reason for that is sort of twofold. First of all, um, I'm a Coke guy, I'm a Coke fanboy if you haven't seen my previous videos. Um, so I tend to sort of avoid Pepsi in general. Um, and I also went through a large period of time um, up until recently when I actually reviewed it for the show where I wasn't a fan of Coca-Cola Vanilla either. So this is kind of uh, two, this is a double whammy of just not a big Pepsi fan, not a big uh, Vanilla in Cola fan. So this never appealed to me. Um, to sort of illustrate how much Pepsi was completely off my radar um, this whole time, uh, I didn't even know Pepsi Vanilla was discontinued. If you would have asked me if Pepsi Vanilla is still around, I probably would have said yes off the top of my head. Um, just because Coke Vanilla has been around for so long and it just makes logical sense that Pepsi Vanilla would be around. But actually, uh, this has been a discontinued flavor for quite some time. Um, and I do know that there are some people who absolutely love Pepsi Vanilla. Now, um, I am quite curious uh, what this is going to taste like. Um, I don't know if I've ever, I don't think I've ever had another vanilla soda. So I don't know if this vanilla is going to taste significantly different than uh, vanilla Coke or if it's going to be pretty similar. Um, I'm trying to imagine also what the Pepsi taste, which is sort of the simple sweeter flavor rather than the deeper flavor of uh, Coca-Cola and how that's going to mix together with the vanilla. Um, I don't know if it's going to just be like super bright and sugary like Coke vanilla or if, uh, if it's going to be around the same ballpark. I'm not quite sure. Um, if, if the sweetness that you get from Pepsi that's sweeter than Coke is going to sort of push it over the edge for me where it's too sweet um, or if they're going to be able to keep it in check. I don't know. Um, real quick, before I pop this open, um, I do kind of like um, the, uh, the addition to the can. I know I've said before that the simplistic design um, is kind of boring to me. But this is a bit of a step in the right direction. I do like this cream colored um, band at the top. Um, it, it is kind of stylish looking. And the little uh, vanilla symbol right on the end of the uh, main logo does look pretty cool. It, it looks cooler than I think than the, than the Coke sort of uh, vanilla drop look that they're doing. Um, I don't think it's a great design. I prefer the original. Uh, well, not the original, but the um, up until recently replaced uh, Coca-Cola vanilla uh, can. Um, but this, this can is better than the new Coke vanilla can. Anyway, uh, that's all I have to say. Uh, one more thing I noticed um, actually setting up for this uh, shot that um, the uh, Pepsi with vanilla does not have any cane sugar in it at all. It's just high fructose corn syrup, which I think is interesting um, because regular Pepsi has uh, high fructose corn syrup as its primary sweetener, but it also has a little bit of sugar in there for some added pop. So I, I think it's interesting that this formulation just lacks that. I'm not quite sure why, but um, you know, that's just how they formulated it. Anyway, uh, that's all I have to say. So I'm gonna just be comparing it. Um, first I'm gonna be trying it, and then I'm gonna be comparing it to normal Pepsi just to see um, what the differences are there. 
Um, the original plan was to compare the Pepsi vanilla with uh, Coca-Cola vanilla and uh, Pepsi Wild Cherry with uh, Cherry Coke. Um, but I decided that it made more sense to uh, sort of let Pepsi stand on its own, not get overshadowed by its, uh, its uh, competitor. Um, I think it's more fair that way. And uh, at the very end of the Pepsi line, now that I've done the whole Coke line, and I'm going to do the whole Pepsi line, um, I'm going to have one big video where the, it's just going to be comparisons. It's just going to be Coke and Pepsi comparisons. It's going to be Pepsi and Coke. It's going to be Pepsi with real sugar, Coke, Mexican Coke. It's going to be Pepsi vanilla, vanilla Coke. You get the idea. I'm going to do a big comparison there. So uh, if you're looking for that comparison, just wait. That video is coming. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just, just to be fair to Pepsi, especially since I'm a big Coke guy, I'm just going to let it stand on its own. Anyway, um, that is everything that I can think of uh, before popping this open. So let's get started with the review. All right, first off, let's move that off to the side. All right, let's pop this guy open. Good sound. All right. I'm just going to do a little pour and a sniff test. Pour a little bit more. There we go. All right. Standard cola color. It looks like Pepsi. Um, it's the brown uh, effervescent um, color. It's got a little bit of a red. It's almost, I want to say, a little bit more translucent. Maybe I'm making that up, but it, it looks a little bit more translucent than uh, I remember standard Pepsi looking, but it, not much. So the color is as expected. Let's give it a smell here. Huh. That is interesting. It's very close um, to vanilla Coke, I think. Um, it's not quite the same, but this is by far the closest a Pepsi product has come to smelling like its Coke um, competitor uh, in terms of initial sniff here. To tell you the God's honest truth, what this reminds me of is um, one of my favorite mixed drinks. What I like to do is I like to take uh, Captain Morgan private stock, which is sort of a more uh, refined Captain Morgan, uh, you know, it's Captain Morgan refined, but a little bit more. And it, uh, it has much more of a vanilla smell to it. Um, and I like to mix it in with Coca-Cola. And this smells pretty similar to that. You know, no alcohol, but. And I think what's triggering that memory in my mind is um, the, the cola smell is sort of coming through um, much more prominently in the Pepsi version than in Coke. With Coke, it's a very strong blast of vanilla. It's very, very strong. Um, this is strong. Um, it definitely smells sweeter than a normal Pepsi, but it's not the blow your face off with vanilla that vanilla coke is. It's definitely a more subtle 50-50 kind of flavor, at least in the smell. I could smell that sort of lime citrusy scent um, that I deduced was the citric acid in the, uh, the sugar video, uh, the Pepsi with real sugar video. It's got a bit of that, um, you know, simplistic uh, Pepsi smell with a little bit of hints of cola notes, little cola gummies. Um, and then it's also got the vanilla. And the vanilla smells fairly close to the vanilla that is in uh, Coca-Cola vanilla. It is, yeah, very, a very similar smell. Um, not quite the same. I would say the, um, the Coca-Cola version is a little bit more pungent. If you remember from uh, that review, um, I actually had a little story about why the smell and taste of vanilla Coke sort of turned me off where uh, I had a childhood experience with, with having this, uh, this uh, house down the road that had these big bushes with these flowers on them. And every, every kid loved the smell of them and I hated it. And it smelled like what vanilla Coke smells like. And this brings me back to that a little bit. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, 
check out my uh, vanilla Coke video. Link will be in the description. But like I was saying, this, this sort of brings me back to that, um, but it's not nearly as much. So I'm very interested. Um, I, I'm excited to try a cola with vanilla rather than just like a really powerful vanilla soda with a little bit of a cola underneath. So uh, this is gonna be cool. So anyway, that's all I have to say about the smell. I'm ready to give it a taste here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it tastes a little bit uh, a little bit different than vanilla Coke because uh, it smells like it could taste very similar, but the ratio is different. So I'm excited to explore that. Anyway, uh, first time I'm ever having Pepsi Vanilla um, blind tasting going down. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, it's um, it's pretty much what I described in the smell in the sense that it is a similar sort of flavor to vanilla Coke in the sense that the uh, vanilla is about the same. You know, I would say it's, it's probably the same sort of natural flavor that they put in there um, as they would with, uh, with Coca-Cola vanilla. The only difference is it tastes like there is less of it. Um, whether that's a good or bad thing is gonna depend on the person. I'm intrigued by the sort of more 50-50 vanilla taste. The problem is the other 50 is Pepsi, and I'm not a huge fan of Pepsi. Pepsi to me, uh, I gave it a six out of 10 for context if you haven't seen that video. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Pepsi. I think it's, uh, it's pretty simple. Um, it's just sort of uh, sweet uh, sugar water with not much complexity to it in terms of the spices and flavor. Um, the high fructose corn syrup version anyway. So it's, it's kind of got, you know, aspects of that. I think this is better than a regular Pepsi. Um, I want to drink it a little bit more just to make sure. But the, um, the aftertaste is definitely nicer where the, uh, the vanilla sort of sticks uh, in your mouth and masks that sort of syrupy uh, ick after drinking a uh, high fructose corn syrup Pepsi. Um, so that's nice. That kind of gets rid of Pepsi's biggest problem. Not completely, but pretty much. Um, I also think the, the sort of the, the hint of vanilla um, complements the sweetness in the Pepsi um, nicely. So it's not, uh, it's not really at war with it. It's just sort of working synergistically. The problem is the vanilla is a more complex flavor than the Pepsi part of the vanilla Pepsi. It's, it's, it feels cheap, lacking, a little bit boring, um, you know, in comparison to say uh, vanilla Coke. But uh, it's not bad. Um, I think this is drinkable. Um, I know that some people are like really obsessed over this drink coming back because it's been a decade um, and I had no idea this was off the shelves, but it's been a decade since this has been around. So people were really excited when they brought it back, but you know, I think it's okay. I don't, I don't love it, um, but it's fine. The, the bite is mild. Um, I would say, well, let's test it for sure. I was going to say it's, it's probably about the same as a regular Pepsi. I got some water here just to wash my mouth out. It's probably the same as a regular Pepsi. Let's just uh, test it back to back here. No, Pepsi vanilla is just, uh, just a tad smoother, um, but there is a bit of a bite there. Um, that's probably the citric acid, um, but it's nothing substantial. It's not going to be like a serious punch like, uh, like Coca-Cola. So this is a pretty smooth soda, um, you know, which, which is nice. I mean, that's what Pepsi is supposed to be. Yeah. This is definitely better than, than Pepsi. And, um, Pepsi still has a bit more of that like citrusy taste than 
Um, Pepsi Vanilla. I don't know if it's the uh, vanilla masking it or, let me see here. Yeah, see the, uh, well, you can't see, but the, uh, the natural flavor is way up on the ingredients list for Pepsi Vanilla but the, uh, the natural flavor is under the citric acid um, on the regular Pepsi. So I think that's probably where I'm getting that from. Um, so yeah, I would definitely pick this pretty much every time over uh, regular Pepsi if I had to have a Pepsi. But uh, I don't think it's revolutionary. I don't think it's great. It's okay. Um, if you've never had Pepsi vanilla before um, and you're a Pepsi drinker, Give it a shot, you might like it. It's still bright, um, it's still not bitey. You know, it's not like a Coke. So um, I think somebody who likes this will probably like this. Um, if you're a vanilla Coke drinker, you probably don't need to mess around with this. Uh, you can give it a shot if you wanna try more of a 50-50 mix. Um, but really, if you wanna try a 50-50 mix, take a vanilla Coke, take a regular Coke, mix it together, you'll probably get a better drink than this. Um, yeah, otherwise, there's really not much more to say. Uh, there, there's not much to recommend this to. Um, give it, you know, a try for the novelty of it, maybe, because uh, this is the first time in a decade it's out. But I think uh, the reason why this failed um, in the past is, uh, is just it's, it's not a very remarkable soda. And I don't think this is going to be around for, for much longer. I could be wrong, but I don't see it sticking around just because it's, it's not really wowing me. It's just kind of there. Um, Let's give it a try here. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a seven. It's sort of a weak seven, so it could be a six. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it the seven. Um, it is better than, than regular Pepsi, uh, I will give it that. So I think seven is the appropriate ranking for this drink. Um, it's good, you know, I like it. I'm just not gonna reach for it very often. You know, it's, it's all right, anyway. Um, that's it. That's all I really have to say about Pepsi Vanilla. Um, have you guys ever had Pepsi Vanilla before? Um, did you miss Pepsi Vanilla because it's been gone for 10 years? Let me know your experience with it down in the comments below. Um, and uh, yeah, like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you got to do, spread me around. And uh, that's it. So this is Soda Anonymous signing off and I hope I see you next time.